Thank you for tuning in to my podcast as your host, David Randolph. On today's topic, it will be the choice is yours. The choice is yours. If I were used for a scripture, it will be coming from Acts chapter 27, verses 31. Acts chapter 27, verse 31. Paul said to the satyrian and to the soldiers, Except these abide in the ship, ye cannot be saved. Let me read that one more time. Paul said to the satyrian and to the soldiers, Except these abide in the ship, ye cannot be saved. The choice is yours. Joshua chapter 24, verse 15 Post a question, choose ye this day whom you going to serve. You going to serve the gods of your fathers or the gods of the Amorites? Choose ye this day whom you going to serve. But I like the latter part of verse 15 in Joshua chapter 24, which is proclaimed by many of this day, but as for me in my house, <laughs> we're going to serve the Lord. In other words, you don't have no other option. That as long as you are under my roof, you're going to serve the Lord. We was talking, having the discussion at work. And it was brought up about how you didn't have an option to go to church. No matter how late you stayed out in the club. You didn't have an option on Sunday morning. They don't care if you didn't have no sleep. On Sunday morning you were coming out of that house. You didn't have a choice in the matter. Because the parents of that day, and they're still parents that are still holding up the bloodstained banner or still holding up this standard, as long as you live in my house, you're going to serve the Lord. <laughs> but we're living in a time now that the younger generation, not all, are being left with a choice. Parents wake up Sunday morning and ask the child, do they choose to stay home or go to the house of the Lord? But as for me in my house, we're going to serve the Lord. On Sunday morning, you're going to dwell in the house of the Lord. Because God has kept us all week long. And you mean to tell me that I can go, I can dedicate myself 
to work. I can dedicate myself to other auxiliaries in the world. I can dedicate myself to it. But I don't have enough strength on Sunday morning to get up and enter the gates with thanksgiving. And enter his courts with praise. Oh my God. And be thankful unto him and bless his name. You mean to tell me. That that's not an option for my life. All that God has done for me. Here in our text, they, the men on the ship, They was on the ship during a storm. And because of the raging of the storm. These men feared for their life. They started even throwing stuff off the ship. Trying to make it uh, as light as it can be. And they made a decision said. It's better for us to get off the ship than to stay on the ship and die. But Paul said, I'm going to give you a choice. Said, if you abide in, except you abide in the ship, you will die. He said, ye cannot be saved. But if you stay on the ship, You will survive. And we know the story that some have survived of broken pieces. Because they made the right choice. To stay, to take heed to the warning of Paul. When Paul told him, except you abide in the ship. You will not survive. But the choice is yours. In other words, if you choose to jump off the ship, the blood is not required of my hands because I have gave you a warning to stay on the ship. I have gave you an option either to stay on the ship or jump, but the choice is yours. And I guarantee you, That God will keep you. And you will survive this storm. But the choice is yours. We're living in a time now. That there are many choices. Many options. Many things before us. To choose from. But we got to make up in our mind. Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. If you're going to serve God, serve him. If you're going to serve Jesus, serve him. He said, lukewarm, I spew you out. He said, I'd rather for you to be hot or cold than to be lukewarm and I spew you out. He said, the choice is yours. He said, the word said that, that your name must be written In the Lamb book of life. The choice is yours. He said the day you hear my voice. Harden not your heart. The choice is yours. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. He said I'm not going to force salvation on you. He said I'm not going to beg you. But the choice is yours. You either stay on the ship or lose your life. You either stay on the ship and lose everything you got. The choice is yours. Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. Make up in your mind. He said a double-minded person is unstable 
in all of his ways. Meaning, everything he put his hands do to, it don't last long. Because they're double-minded. Everybody can change their mind. Instead of obeying what God said to their spirit. They let everybody else change their mind. And, they're, and they don't know. They don't know which way to turn. The Bible said, why halt between two opinions? In other words, make up in your mind. Choose ye this day. Choose ye this day. Said, I'd rather for you to be hot or cold than to be lukewarm. Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. Stop telling people one thing and we're living a different th- a lifestyle. Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. Make up in your mind. Whose side are you on? If you're on the Lord's side, stay on that side. Hallelujah. The race is not given to the swift nor the strong. But he that endure to the end, the choice is yours. As I told you before, my mama used to say, Son, if you make the bed hard, you are the one got to lay on the choice is yours. I raise you the way, uh, the right way, but the choice is yours. When you turn that tassel, when you graduate, when you leave your mama house, the choice is yours. You can't blame mama, you can't blame daddy, you can't blame your sister and your brother. The choice is yours. Paul said, except you stay on this ship, you're going to die. Except you stay on the ship, you will die. But if you stay on the ship, you will survive (laughs) off some broken pieces. You shall live and not die if you stay on the ship. Hallelujah. The choice is yours. He said, I'm not going to make you. I'm not going to force you. I know you're grown. You can make your own decisions. The choice is yours. You can bring a horse to the trot, but you can't make them drink that water. The choice is yours. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The choice is yours. Make up in your mind. Stop being double-minded. Don't know which way to turn. Don't know which way to turn. Don't know which way to turn. Flip flopping. Just like a fish out of the water. You flip flopping. The choice is yours. Make up in your mind. Stop allowing all these people to to, to make your own decision. You know to make the choices for you. Choose. You choose. It's your life. You the one got to stand before God. The choice is yours. The choice is yours. Sometimes you you gotta you gotta stop saying, well, what do you think? Or what did this person think? Or what did that one think? It'll, it'll have you running crazy. It'll have you about losing your mind because you got so many people speaking in your ear gate. And confused. And God already done gave you the answer. But you're allowing all these people to get in your ear gate. And it's blocking out what God has said to you. 
and then you start questioning was that the voice of God that was speaking to you because you're listening to all of these different voices but he said my sheep knows my voice <laughs> but a stranger will not follow hallelujah you was running well, but but who hindered you from obeying the truth? You was doing good in your walk with the Lord, but you allowed the voices of everybody else to dictate which way you should turn. You was taught right from your youth up. What happened? You allowed the world to dictate your life and now you're about to give up now you're about to quit because so many voices are in your ear saying well you, you know you know you ought to do this and you ought to do that and and, and, and the one that's telling you ain't even made up their mind yet and they're telling you, oh, oh, you shouldn't do this and you, sh you shouldn't go over there to that church or you shouldn't go over there to this church and all of this stuff. And the one that's telling you, I haven't even stepped foot in a church. Come on, somebody. Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. The ones you're listening to don't even have a desire to serve the Lord. Don't even have a desire to dwell in the house of the Lord. But they will tell you that you need to leave that church. They will tell you that you don't need to go there no more. But they ain't even faithful to the one that they are going to. Choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. The choice is yours. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord. This is my prayer. Lord, help us to not be weary in well-doing. Help us, Lord, to not be lukewarm. Help us, Lord, to not be tossing and turning between millions of options and you only gave us one. Help us, O oh God, to look to the hills from which cometh our help and all of our help coming from the Lord. Paul said, if you, if you get off this ship, you ain't going to make it. And he said, except you stay on the ship, you won't survive. The choice is yours. God, help us in the last and evil days. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. And I love you. So the question is, the choice is yours.